And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Shen's Fortune. New deck that we're going to be playing here. Donation deck uh, from a viewer. Looks pretty sweet. We're combining Shen with, with Misfortune. Um, you know, easier to attack in with Misfortune if it has a barrier. That's for sure. Um, and just kind of combining a bunch of good Ionia and Bilgewater cards together. You know, like we have like Jaw Hunters, which is pretty awesome, which uh, real good with Shen. Um, you know, Shen giving, you know, basically your challenger stuff is really good with Shen. And so like, uh, Jaw Hunters does that. But the other thing that Bilgewater does is gives us a bunch of vulnerable. We have Hired Gun, Ye Been Warned, um, even Razor Scale Hunter. So we have a bunch of ways to grant enemies vulnerable so that whenever we, uh, attack with Shen and give the allied support, the ally a barrier, then that thing with barrier can challenge whatever we give vulnerable. Or we can also have... Shen just challenge something that's like super small so we don't have to we can attack with Shen and not risk our Shen dying so lots of cool little things that we can do there um, we got the retreats for some good uh good good tricks whether we're uh re bouncing and replaying black market merchant or jaw hunters to make another sea monster or shadow assassins to draw another card or save misfortune or anything like that um a bunch of cool little things to do here so let's give it a try let's go play five games over in ranked like we always do and play some Shen's Fortune we're up to 383 highest we've been in a while all right we got uh Shen and Fiora so Shen mirror match Ooh. let's mulligan one higher gun I don't really know how I'm going to trigger this pilfer goods yet I don't know. We'll mulligan both of these. Will of Ionia could be pretty decent against like Shen or even Fiora, like on their side. These woods protect their own. Green Glade Caretaker. We maybe should have that card. Who's on top of the bounty board today? That card's pretty decent. No, you don't think so? Alright, Caretaker in the deck doesn't work. Yeah, we, we don't actually have that much barrier stuff. Protect and strike. Make it worth my while. Right. Yeah, we're not we're not Demacia decks. So yeah, we don't have that much barrier stuff. Ooh. I'm one of the good guys, but okay. not that good. It's a good card. So they have something with a barrier over there. Yeah, Shadow Assassin with Misfortune is pretty cool. Save your wells. We speak with blades. One thing's gone. Cool, got a couple barrier cards from him. My shield is 
source. Dang, that thing's a seven two. You're covered. I never find you. Kill this Fiora. I should name the deck Miss Four Shen. Miss Four Shen. The Shen. Blooding guts, golden glory. I could see that. Yeah, I, I regret mulliganing Will of Ionia about now. And this is the, the kind of game that Will of Ionia would have been nice to have. Definitely. No, I do. So no, I have donation decks. Um, uh, I never play them like the same day. I always play them at least the next day. Um, but but yeah, you can either use ten thousand channel points or uh, ten dollars if you want to see your deck played on stream. one you want. That's unfortunate. They done a Shadow Isle Swain deck. I don't think so. Now we plan our revenge. All right, so it's Shinada Mulligan to Will of Ionia. That was a great combo for them to have, though. That turn. Fiora is still good. And we're just playing mirror matches. So that now this time, instead of the Shen mirror, now we have the Misfortune mirror. And I'm going to just mulligan these three. Probably playing a two drop, right? There's plenty of killing there. Who's on top? 
top of the bounty board today. It's not in the best spot, like, but the Jagged Butcher will have one health. I, I don't want to block here because of Make It Rain, even though we are letting them level up Sejuani. I think we just play this thing. Hey, Bark Beast isn't bad. Be able to get multiple attacks in. have make it rain called that not my first gun fight love ya son of a oh i should i should vulnerable i should pull that i should have just attacked with the misfortune and pulled that to the to this Right, I just forgot about the vulnerable there for a minute. I could have killed that 3 1. The misfortune attacking. That's what I should have done. Safety will cost you. Danger pay. The day don't need Richie. Reel him in. I wanted that to happen first because I wanted wanted to make sure to do damage like this. Nice Dang. Took my black market merchant. Now they have something that's super cheap. This is our way. I do have deny to protect misfortune. I don't know exactly how they would kill her. How they would kill her, but. Hmm. So if they go Fury of the North, turn this into a 6-6. Six -six. I don't think I need to keep deny up. I, let's let's play the two three drops. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Flooding guts, golden glory. Hey, astonishing! How was Vlad Hecarim? It was good. It was good. Fun to play too. Pretty powerful. I liked it. They can't play... I mean, I think this is a safe attack with Misfortune, right? Set the hooks. I think it is. They can't play... No regrets, no mercy. Um, Fear of the North anymore. They could have, like... Like they could have my barrier lifesteal. 
Oh, I guess they bury your lifesteal, they block there. Yeah. Oh well. Misfortune's leveled up, that's what's important. We got a new one. Oh no, they don't have it, so that's just a bad block. Because Misfortune has Overwhelm. So that's just a bad block. Yeah, I was thinking they stole refuge. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. GG's. All right, one one. Four drop is definitely good with Misfortune leveling up Misfortune pretty fast. All right, War Mother's Call with Anivia. Trindamir, don't see that deck very often. Is Shen good versus War Mother's Call? Yeah, we are on fire today. Um, probably. Ooh, I like that. That's real nice against, like, Grasp the Undying. Especially, you know, like, bounce our Shadow Assassin, replay it. No. But I want to. I walk the space between worlds. Alright, I'm gonna lead with Shen. To start leveling up Shen. I like how they use seven mana. Pretty nice. All right, so Jaw Hunters could do four damage. Um, I'll play Shadow Assassin. Dang, retreat so good. The War Mother will unite us all. Wow, hit an Omen Hawk. That's pretty nice. I'll take five. All right, lots of cool things we can do this turn. I'm going to start by attacking with these two. Stand and defend. Turn me to so now this thing has three damage on it. I'm glad they didn't wait till I played the Black Market Merchant. And we'll give that vulnerable. They know about the first Shen. That's the one they know about, so we're going to be playing that one. damage in on them. That'd be... Something ancient stirs. Hmm. But 
definitely be nice to... Uh... Would've definitely been nice to have the other Black Marker Merchant in play before stealing a bunch of stuff, but alas. Yes, yeah, so now we, we can use Grass the Undying to kill it. We can have Jaw Hunters. Um, they could have, like, Rekindler now. And, like, maybe that's what they wanted was, like, Rekindler. Um, oh, right. That's the biggest thing. <laughs> we don't get to choose the higher gun. Uh enforced equilibrium. I'm gonna be using grass the undying on that thing, that's my plan. First, take some cards, though. Get some more information. I like having a Ledros. Ledros is pretty good. Jaw Hunters just isn't isn't. Jaw Hunters just isn't reliable. You know, they have another Vile Feast, um, Withering Whale. They have a lot of things that kill Jaw Hunters. Dang. All right, well, I suppose that happens. Dang, this thing's at 10 7? Yeah, it makes it difficult to play a deck like my opponent's playing, like the yoink, the yoink cards do. They really make it difficult to play a deck like that. If this dies and goes back into our hand, it should it should be a nine mana card again after that. Who's on top of the bounty board today? I'm not that scared of Ruination, to be honest. If they have Ruination here, I put the Ledros back in my hand, but then I still get to play Misfortune. And they're at four. I wasn't that scared of Ruination. fine. I, I don't really know what they could possibly have with us having the Stand United and everything, too. Alright, two and one. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, no, feel, feels pretty good so far. Yeah, definitely a, a fun one to play. Lots of cool stuff with like these challengers and um, 
and vulnerable, but then also you have like the, your black market merchant pilfer good stuff and good amount of card advantage. Lots of cool stuff to do here. So I like this, how I'm glad we don't have the attack token on turn one. I hope they don't have a one drop. Like that's, that's the key. Just please don't, hopefully they don't have a one drop. Come on, pass, pass. Cause then I play butcher, darn, they have a one drop. Cause I'd play butcher, I could attack immediately with butcher and then play pilfered goods the next turn, but this will make it more difficult. Um, so now my plan is to not do anything turn two and bank the spell mana. Um, have like Shadow Assassin. So it would have been awesome if they didn't have one drop. Yeah, Butcher is better than Zithria. Don't get in my way. But, uh, sometimes they trade. Like right then. Yeah, it is just an upgraded Zithria. No pray. It's a strong start for them though. They did have one drop and then two mana champion, three mana champion. Strong. Guns blazing. To quite strong. Love ya. Yeah, if you're playing elites, you get the Cythria stuff with the elites. I will play my part. We're about to be mean. About to be real mean. My selection, Dang, I had a great hand though. I'll take that at zero mana, thank you. Assume they're just gonna go straight to attacks. Yeah, barrier misfortune does a great job of stopping barrier for sure. Mana five five. Head to the face. Protect and strike. Time for violence. Darn, they figured it out. Guide me. That is the correct attack. Feel the sizzle. So like if I make these blocks, Lucian's so close to leveling up, but we can't, I can't like really afford Lucian to level up. Lucian's so close. is loose. Um, this block here means that if they do have, if they do play Rally, 
then our moose could block misfortune. Soldiers to me. They play rally. We have a hand that would be awesome with misfortune with a bunch you know like all these scouts and the and our relentless pursuit stuff like that if we had our own misfortune them playing the 5-5 five, five. I don't I could I could challenge the other way right like we could have our 5-5 five, five challenge Lucian um that's the card I was definitely worried about uh, I was really worried about that now Lucian levels up I'll sleep with their dead I guess we still get to kill Lucian. Still has vulnerable. So, Misfortune, two out of four, needs a scout attack. Don't have anything to deal with that right now. I'm the least Lucian's out of here. And a long path to get Yuck. I wasn't really planning on playing Shen right here, but I'm going to be playing Shen to block Misfortune. Oh, I guess... Oh, it does five damage, doesn't it? I was thinking it was going to do four, but it's going to do five, right? That Misfortune trigger. Mm. Just take five, go to six. Yuck. Love ya. Not bad, not bad. We could have so many attacks this turn. <laughs> I'm gonna want Stand United. So let's see, we attack. They have Cythria block here. We go Stand United. Um. That's three, and then I could rally, attack again. And then Shen's leveled up. Mm -hmm. A 
think I, I think it's just safer probably to Will of Ionia the Misfortune to make sure Misfortune doesn't level up. I think that's my safest thing. So I'll go with this thing first and just see what we get. That's scary. Flavor and spice. I don't know why you're playing such scary cards. Fortune favors the bold. Why is this slow speed? All these things are too slow. Fresh out of mercy. Can't stay alive, can I? I guess like yeah, I just can't even stay alive. This game's over. Because the Cythria. Feel the sizzle! Yeah, we're we're dead. Uh How how can I stay alive? Like, how how can I block misfortune or warships? Was a, a great hand from them that just never stopped, you know, just never stopped. Uh, but yeah, they had the perfect one, two, three, and then it just never stopped from there. And that Cythria, Cythria is still amazing. Kind of, for, kind of forgot about Cythria. I haven't seen it too often, but still amazing. So we're playing against the the Noxus Elusive Burn. It just looks like this is going to be a loss also. This hand, not very good. Do drop, hired gun. To make it rain when you need one. Or twisted fate. Down from the trees. Uh, not yeah. This is this is not a hand that beats triple one drop. That's for sure. Danger pay. Spirit's Refuge is nice. Fish out of water. Really hoping they don't have transfusion or retreat. did have him. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Coming in hot! Um I walk the space between worlds. 
Yeah, this is not looking good. Hey, core deck. Can't possibly make sense to just not attack and have them waste all that mana, right? Don't think so. Death doesn't scare me. <laughs> Only we had like a warning shot. Everything's better with company. To be able to <clears throat> warning shot rally next turn. And gain three life. Save me. That doesn't save me either. Somebody's gonna bleed for this. Oh, that's a that's a tough matchup. Whenever we had that slow of a hand. Um, you know, obviously, like, we need things to do early. Uh, so a couple of disappointing games against, like, those aggro decks that just, just had real strong hands there, those last two games. Um, just, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. The... Did, we didn't have, hmm. Like, I don't love Make It Rain, in this format, but there are just a couple of decks that make it rains amazing against, so and it would have been really nice to have either of those times, or, or just something that can kill people outside of combat. You know, some kind of remo outside of combat removal. Um, all we have is Will of Ionia. But, you know, like how like Misfortune was just sitting back, um, and we couldn't do anything about that Misfortune forever. Um, that one game, and then the. <clears throat> And then that last game couldn't really kill stuff. I don't I don't really know what to do about that. Basically we just need to just need to get on the board faster, really. Especially that last game. Yeah, I just gotta get on the board faster. Yeah, I, under I understand that combat vulnerable, that's our, our way to remove stuff. I, there's not really a better option either with these regions. I think that's that's what we got. And um, yeah, it's just, they just had, you know, both of those decks had really good hands. They just had better hands than us, so they won. I think that's how it goes. Like, I don't think, uh, I don't think we never necessarily need to uh, change up everything though um uh, could go some maybe make it rain instead of retreat i mean yeah make it rain is kind of our option right and the make it rain would help out black market merchant and pilfered goods i think it's i think it'd be make it rain probably over ye been warned we have a bunch of other things that are already de vulnerable retreat's too good I, I would not be taking out retreat. Retreat is too good. But I think you could could go make it rain instead of ye been warned. Um, help help turn on plunder, and uh, yeah, it could be a little bit of other removal because we still got still got a good amount of vulnerable stuff. I I understand ye been warned has the ability to draw a card. I understand. It's not if if that works out. I understand. It's just so slow. You know, it is so slow. All right, so anyway, that's Shen's fortune. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.